All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. Today I'm going to do a, I don't know, it, okay, so I'm doing my goals for 2021 slash resolutions for 2021. I've never put this out on the internet before. I mean, I've kind of like done, you know, all my makeup stuff and like I also have a book channel and that is not active at the moment, by the way, but I also have a book channel that I think I've like put out like, oh, my goals is I want to read so many, you know, like little specific goals, but I've never put out my goals slash resolutions before on the internet, um, mainly because it's kind of nerve wracking to do that. And I think there are some that I might keep a little bit more private, um, but, or make them a little bit more generic, I, although they're specific <laughs> in my actual uh, goals, but yeah, I kind of want to put that out there, be able to have accountability. I know that Claire Elizabeth does this. I'm pretty sure that Erin M also does this. So I'll link their channels down below or have done them. And I just think it'd be really, really, really fun to go back and like hold myself accountable and review this at the end of the year, next year, and see where I'm at, like what I did, how I did, all of that. And I love setting goals. <laughs> and I also feel like yeah, I just love setting goals, so I'm ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get into it. So first things first is um, be in less debt. Now, I'm pretty good on my credit card debt. Like, I just pay it off monthly, so I'm good there. However, I just graduated in spring, so, and with the pandemic, <laughs> although it's been hard because I haven't been able to find, like, as much work as I would love uh, with, you know, the way the pandemic is, I have been really lucky that with student loans, they're not increasing the interest rate. I believe right now, I'm con I need to like double check, but it's either January 31st or March 1st, one of the two, there may be an extension. I've been loving that. And so I have been trying to like pay off a little bit of those um, as much as I can. I just want to like really make sure I'm setting goals. Everyone knows no one wants to be in debt, right? <laughs> okay. And then another thing, which this is kind of part of like, you know, I have like a no buy and all these other things. Well, I have, and I'm going to put this out there, and it's a little embarrassing, meaning a lot embarrassing. So I have a lot of books. I have a book collection, which I absolutely love. I was an English literature major as well, so I mean, there's a reason for the books. But throughout the years, I've also collected a lot of books that I haven't actually read yet. I have definitely taken in more books than I've been able to read. I average about 50 books a year that I'm reading. However, those are also with audiobooks and that's not even counted. Right now I'm talking about physical books that I have. I have 127 physical books on my shelf that I have not read. <sighs> so what I wanna do is I wanna have less <laughs> of that. I want to like, honestly, ideally, I would like to have maybe like only 20 books that I haven't read in my collection, um, but that's not gonna happen in one year for sure. I basically, what I usually do is I go to these to like Goodwill or whatever and I find like a bunch of books that are like one or two dollars which I absolutely love like I do bargain book you know shop but um every now and then I'll go to Barnes and Noble if there's like something I really really want or just whatever you know but I want to kind of cut that back where sometimes like with especially with my makeup no buy I feel like that's been my thing of like going and trying to find certain books and because they're super cheap I like collect them but again I've recently moved and I said this in another video, I just want less things. So with my books, usually if I if it is something that I would love to like read again, I will keep it on my book, on my bookshelf. But if it's not, then I'll go ahead and pass it along. Um, so I wanna make sure that everything on my bookshelf is something that I will want to read slash reread. Um, and they are all on my bookshelf. All of the ones are like stuff that I want to read, but um, eventually I wanna make sure that they're all things that I would like to come back to as well. So. Yeah, and that tends to be a little bit harder, that making it to that level. Yes, um, basically, I'm not going to buy any books this year. And some, if they're gifted, then that's one thing. Not buying any more books this year as far as, yeah. That's, I, I'm like, being like, what do I want it? No, no, no. No buying books this year. It can wait no matter what. And then uh, reading a lot. So I would love to read, I think maybe, I would love to get it under 100 that I don't um, this year. So that's like... 27 or no, 28 books that I would like to physically read off my bookshelf. So fingers crossed we can do that. Another thing I would like to go ahead and do, which I haven't actually written down, but this is something that I want to do along with my basically panning books, essentially. Um, again, this is kind of going back to Claire Elizabeth and Erin M. They do like panning their tea collection because they drink a lot of tea and I think that's so cute. 
but I want to, I have a whole watch list of workout videos and all of that. And like, I feel like, like recently I've been like wanting, I have like over 300 videos that I want to eventually do. And they're, they range from different things. Like sometimes they're just warm up, sometimes they're stretches and sometimes they're yoga or like, you know, um, what is it called? Like cardio type stuff or whatever. So I can fit multiple, a couple of them in a day. Um, but I would love to like narrow down that list. Now, of course, I would like narrow it down and then eventually expand it again because like I constantly want to be working out and having new videos. But I think and like once I've done them, usually I just like take them off unless it's something that I'm like, ooh, this was amazing. Um, but yeah, I want to kind of like pan that list. I also got a guitar on for Christmas and I want to learn two songs on the guitar. That's it. I don't know. I just started like doing the YouTube, like listening to like lessons and I just started it yesterday. So, you know, I'm thinking it's going to be take a while for me to like learn, you know, a song, but I think it'd be so fun. I just want to be able to like express myself to do that. And like, yeah, in that way. And then I do have some writing things that I want to go ahead and accomplish. So those ones I'm going to keep more like private. But yes, I definitely want to write more and like continue that, which I have been doing this year, which I'm really excited about, but I want to make sure I'm continuing that because that's something that I can do, like that's working on my craft and free other than my time. Oh, but I do want to quote unquote win NaNoWriMo. And for those of you who don't know what NaNoWriMo is, which now I'm like, wait, what? I think it's National Novel Writing Month. I think, yeah, National Writing, National novel writing month yes okay so and it's basically i think it's in november people come together as a community and they write for like they start a novel from start to finish in a month just getting their first draft in and i think it'd be so fun to participate in that so yeah i think it'd be really fun <laughs> i don't know if i would document it like because i know people do a vlog um who knows where i'll be in november but i think that that would be so fun to participate in even if it doesn't go anywhere at least it'd be like a good practice to like get a novel down Ugh, that'd be so cool okay okay another thing is prioritizing my health the this past month especially i've been like making sure i'm getting up to date on my doctor's appointments and doing all of that and like getting my medications and and all of that and like also working out and just prioritizing my health basically this month and this month i've been feeling so much better because of it um, cause I'm getting the help that I need and, um, working out and like eating healthy and feeling good about myself. And so I just need to remember this, that like me putting, you know, effort into my health is good. And so I need to prioritize my health, not just, I know I've always kind of like prioritized like self care. And I think there are like surface level self care, like doing your nails or like, you know, putting on a face mask or whatever, stuff like that. However, I feel like I've prioritized that over actual like healthy, like keeping myself health, keeping myself healthy um, versus just like quote unquote feeling good in the moment. And I think that there's, there is a difference, although like I think that they're, they can go hand in hand for sure, but there is a difference between one or the other. And I'm trying to really prioritize my health. So yeah, I'm going to continue doing that in 2021 because this month has just like really helped me so so much also i want to keep up with my youtube channel with the pandemic especially too i've gone ahead and took a break for a minute there and it was it was needed i was finishing up college and we were on zoom all the time and it was just wild and crazy however i definitely coming back to youtube it was kind of like harder to get into the groove i feel like and I think that this is a really, especially like with how I'm doing my job and freelancing and all of that, I think this is a way for me to keep something stable in my life. And I really enjoy it. I love connecting with you all. And it's fun for me. Also, like with makeup, I just like, it has nothing to do with what I'm like trying to do in life. And so it's just actually fun. And it's very, I tend to like create hobbies around things that I'm really, really passionate about or let me rephrase, I tend to make my hobbies like part of my work, meaning like I love film, so I'm now a filmmaker. I'm trying to like, I think this one piece, the fact that this isn't really my job or like anything like that, it's actually really nice to keep it as a hobby, to have it as a hobby and keep it as a hobby and keep it consistent in my life. Because I think it's just, it does some, is something that brings me joy, you know, connecting with other like project planners and then also project planning and using my makeup. It's just something that's like completely 
for the most part completely separate <laughs> from my other stuff but like something that I actually really, really love. So I wanna make sure I'm keeping up with this channel. Okay, and my last goal slash, slash resolution for 2021 is never lose a day. So what I've been doing is these last few months is I've been bullet journaling and I've been writing that I've found out that like whenever with school, it was really easy to know that I was like doing stuff because there's always like assignments due or whatever. Like there, there was always something I was like working towards. Well, now I'm kind of setting my own goals with, you know, productivity and life in general. And I want to make sure that I'm like continuing with those goals. And so in order for me to remember what those goals are and like what I'm doing and working towards, because sometimes I just feel like lost. Like when I look back, I'm like, what have I been doing? Well, actually I wrote like a whole pilot, you know, this past month or what, you know what I mean? Like I didn't do it this month. I have done it this year, but I wrote like a whole whatever, or I've done this. And it's actually like being able to write down and say like, oh, today this is what I did. And just like list it out. Like I went to the grocery store, I did this, I did that, I did that. It helps me remember like that I'm doing things and I'm continuing to make progress. And you know, my days aren't being wasted away, even though whenever, even if it feels like they are, um, because I'm not always like going on set and working or whatever, you know, like sometimes it's just like my own craft. And so it's, a matter of like or even just spending a day trying to find work and so that's like something as well so it's been really really interesting and I think that that's something that will really help me is like writing down what I do each day and not even necessarily to like look back on but just like in years but to look back on like from week to week to be like oh I have accomplished some of these like smaller tasks to help me reach the bigger goal. Those are my goals for 2021 and slash resolutions. I like, I always, I know that resolutions are like a thing, it's a classic thing, but I feel like goals is just like better. It's more tangible. It feels like you're a bit more in control. Um, at least I do. So I like to use word goals. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your 2021 goals slash resolutions. I would love, love to hear them. Um, and hopefully we can keep each other accountable. I think we can do it. Um, maybe I'll do a like six month check in like mid year and see where I'm at with these goals um, and kind of, you know, recheck in, make sure I'm still like on my path. And then, yeah, and then th there's going to be the end of the year and hopefully I'll have reached some of these goals or, you know, made progress on them or something. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you all have an amazing new year. Let's make 2021 better than 2020, which hopefully shouldn't be hard, honestly. <laughs> um, anyways, thank you so, so, so much. Have a good day. Bye.